I try to go to movies, but movies are all shit now. They are. They're all shit. Like they just have this machine that just just makes shit. I try to see. I rented a movie. I rented the the Jesus movie where they beat the shit out of Jesus for a couple hours. Wow, they kicked his ass. What happened? What did he key somebody's Camaro? What did the guy do? Look, I didn't like the Jesus movie. I thought it was a shitty movie. And it's, people get offended when you tell them that, like you're saying something wrong. It's like, I thought the Jesus movie sucked. And they're like, hey, man. Like, what? He's not in it. Who gives a shit? <laughs> like, Jesus cares about Mel Gibson's movie, you know? Look, I was raised Catholic, so I know he did that for me, and I appreciate it, you know? Thank you. He, little pre he should have asked first, you know? I would have said, I'm all set. I don't need that done, because... <laughs> A little presumptuous, only because, look, here's the thing. I was raised Catholic, and I'm not anymore, because they, look, if they're right, I am fucked. I'm going to hell. I am. Because I'm really a bad, I do wrong shit a lot. Man, it's really, I'm going to hell. I know it. And I don't want to go to hell. And really because I don't like new places. That's really the reason. <laughs> because I'm afraid I'll go to hell. I won't know where to sign up for shit. I'll be all confused. Like the first day of school, you know? I wonder, is there like a schedule to hell? How organized is your damnation? Like, the first they put you in one room and some monster fucks you up the ass for a thousand years. You come out, you're like, well, I ain't fucking around in there, I tell you. I don't recommend that room. That was a drag. Then they take you and they put you in another room and they shit on your head. I don't know what the fuck they're doing out there, but what if, what if hell's not like that? What if I'm just standing in a hallway in hell like, what do I do? Where do I go? <laughs> Some demon walks up to me, hey, that, and I'm like, ah, demon. And the demon's like, come on, suck my dick, ah. <laughs> now I'm blowing a demon in hell and it's horrible. And I'm thinking I shouldn't have lied so much or whatever. But here's my question. What if when I'm done blowing the demon in the hallway? Which, how do you know when you're done blowing a demon in the hallway? I guess when he comes fire ants on you, whatever. When I'm done blowing the demon in the hallway, what if some guy in charge of hell walks up to me and goes, hey man, you didn't have to blow that guy, you know? <laughs> he just hangs out here. He's not part of your damnation or anything. What did you blow him for? I, I just assume you're supposed to blow people. But... He said, suck my dick, so I, you know. So say no. What's so hard about that? Jesus. Look, man, you better pace yourself. You're down here forever. You're going to blow a lot of demons and elephants, all kinds of shit. Don't be freelancing in the hallways, for Christ's sakes.